What is genome annotation? You may be watching this video if you are studying genomics or you are curious about the process of genome annotation. In this video I will be discussing the meaning of genome annotation, how it is carried out and why it is a necessity. Genome annotation is the process of identifying the location of genes and discovering their functions such as roles in the replication of DNA, as well as annotating other genetic features, for example non-coding RNA, from a raw sequence. This process can occur automatically or manually. This diagram I have created shows the process of genome annotation from a visual perspective. As you can see at the top, the genome sequence consists of a list of DNA bases, C, G, T and A. Through the process of genome annotation, this DNA sequence is converted into the display seen below. From this you can see much more about the position of key elements within the genome, such as the enhancer, the promoter site, the location of exons or introns, and repeat regions. This process is the only way to really understand the genome environment of an organism, because without it you would not be able to identify any genetic elements from looking at the genome sequence alone. Now we have reviewed what genome annotation is, the next important step is to learn how the genome is annotated. Firstly, a genome of an organism is selected for the investigation. This genome can either undergo automatic or manual annotation. Automatic annotation is performed through the Maker pipeline, which requires no user input and is run through the computer alone, or the genome can be annotated through manual annotation. This is carried out by the scientists themselves through genomic programs such as Apollo, JBrowse and Galaxy. This form of genome annotation is considered more reliable and accurate. Now we know all about genome annotation, why is it a necessity? This diagram represents an old genome annotation compared to a newer, updated one. There are many situations such as these where the genome annotation is outdated and lacking recent information on the location of genetic elements. A particular problem of misannotation is seen in the diagram where an old annotation identifies one exon, when in the recent genome annotation there is found to be two separate exons. This can cause inaccuracies in research when there is thought to be one exon, when in reality there are two present. There are other types of misannotation and genome annotation. For example, splice sites of genes can be considered in the wrong place compared to where they should be, as seen in the figure presented. A study was carried out to identify the amount of misannotation which occurs within genomic databases. Staggeringly, in the NR genomic database, approximately 40% of sequences submitted were misannotated in 2005, and as this is increasing with time, it is considered to be a much higher number in 2020. The number of misannotated genomes that are being published to genomic databases are increasing rapidly. This is causing a growing issue that can affect numerous genomic experimental research. Therefore, recent genome annotation of organisms is essential and we must be doing everything we can to ensure this problem does not continue to grow. Thank you for listening to my video about genome annotation. I hope you learned something new from this video and please leave any questions in the comments below.